further notice, this is not a beach ball, okay? Okay. Okay, yeah, so it's still loud in my house. And I don't really want to do a video in there because I don't really feel like it. So anyways, it's cold out here. It's actually really cold because it's starting to become fall. And a lot of my close friends, I don't know who's watching this because for some reason YouTube doesn't let you see who your viewers are, at least on a phone they don't. But anyways, yeah, I have no idea who views my videos, but all of my close friends, if you're watching this, you know that I hate the cold and I hate winter and I hate rain. Well, I like rain if it's in like the warm summer, but I hate rain with cold weather because I love surfing and I love swimming just not in swim team, ew. But I love water, and water is not there in the winter time. So I am freezing and I have like a blanket wrapped around my feet. Look guys, my feet are, oh I can't do the camera. Okay, sorry for that moment of weirdness, I'm sorry. Um, anyways, so basically, so yeah, I broke my, oh gosh, just flipped you off. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I broke my uh, middle nail and I fixed it with, oh, mind the yellowness. I colored it with a pen and it stayed there for a while and it yellowed my nail, sorry. But anyways, I broke it and I fixed it with tea bag and nail glue and it was too hard to film since I had to cut so exact and place so exact. But anyways, so it looks, can't be too rough with it because I don't want the, to like, the acetone to like, ruin the nail glue and like pull it off because it's completely broken now but I can't have another nail break and the break is like way up on like way up on my nail and I don't want it to start bleeding so I think maybe for a while I'll just do like an accent nail I don't know because it will take a while for this to grow back out so I can keep it eventually file I don't know what I'm gonna do but I don't know, just for at least a little bit, I'm going to do like an accent kind of theme. So I'll do a lot of accent nails on my pinky finger, or and sometimes on this if I do a double accent nail thing. But I'm so sorry, guys. Swim ruins my nails, and my little brothers ruin my nails. My chores ruin my nails. So, so start by painting your nails white, and I was an imbecile and forgot to press record when I put the first coat on. So you get to watch me put on the second coat of my favorite Salon Perfect Sugar Cube. It's almost a one coater, but not quite. So I would recommend two coats for this polish, but I love it, so I use it. And I use a toothpick to clean up some of the wet polish. Oh, my brother's talking in the background. Um, but yeah, just clean your cuticles, guys. Forgot to record this too, but I used a quick dry top coat over the white because we're gonna have to use nail vinyls, yeah. So I used this striping tape, not nail vinyls, from Amazon. It was really cheap, just go find it. Um, and I messed up right here because I would have ended up having two slots of pink and I didn't want it, so I took it off. But in my attempt at taking it off, I broke my nail. Remember? Yeah, yeah, it sucks. Breaking your nail sucks. But anyways, so, I fixed it with nail glue and a tea bag, like I explained earlier, but I put the striping tape on by doing it side and then you do it going like vertically, I don't know, and then put it going either way diagonally, I guess, and then do the other way diagonally. Uh, I'm having trouble putting striping tape on. Help me guys, help me! Um, so then you put it on the other diagonal way and then you use a striping brush and whatever polishes you're using and you kind of just brush it in now that this was super hard to record I don't know why but it just was so it doesn't it looks better after I finish recording guys I'm really sorry but so I painted the red on first and no I didn't try and make it look like a beach ball okay everybody asks that but I just really like rainbows and they're pretty so I did rainbows okay so and so you know that one that I just said that I didn't like because it was awful because I would have had two slots of pink It's because I didn't use a certain blue green mint color that I wanted to use and I forgot So anyways, I ended up using it and I really liked the way this many sorry There's people screaming. I can't escape this like loud town But anyway, so I've had the red orange and yellow on now and I the green oh, oh, It's smudged in the other triangle and it's like giving me anxiety like I am seriously going to die because hopefully my 
mint blue color will be opaque enough to slightly cover that. But anyways, so this recording part took forever. I don't understand why, but I put that mint blue color on and it covered the green pretty well and I actually really love this color. It's just not very opaque with gradients, so I had a real problem with gradients with this polish, but this polish is absolutely fabulous. It's a gorgeous color and I really, really like it. Why is this taking so long to record? I have to like talk about random things now. Help me guys. <laughs> like you guys all get the difference. You guys all get what's going on. Oh, sorry. I like moved my nail. Sorry. This was my empty blue polish that I absolutely hate and it was so hard to stripe on and I was getting so frustrated at recording it. I didn't record it all the way. Sorry guys, but you get the process, right? Here's the um, purple and it's pretty, I guess you can, it doesn't really look purple. It looks like brown or black or like a dark gray in this filming circumstances, but it's purple, I promise guys, okay? I would never paint in poopy brown color, okay? I promise. Anyways, so then I used a pink color that's like 10 years old. I know it's my mother's, it's like almost as old as, it's like almost as old as half the people that are watching this. So, yeah, but it's this really gorgeous pink. I actually like it, and it's actually really opaque, and I like it. But anyway, so peel starting with the one that you put on last. Does that make sense? So I put that one on last, and then keep going. And that's basically how you peel them off, so you don't peel them off at weird angles. And yeah, so I didn't put, I forgot to record on the vertical one, sorry. But anyways. I cleaned up with the striping brush, not striping brush, cleanup brush. Now I may have been guilty of doing it with nail polish remover because I'm slightly running out of acetone. Sorry guys, but it's not the best cleanup job. I'm sorry, I'm kind of a hypocrite now, but at least I cleaned them slightly, right? Instead of leaving it all there. And I put a top coat on top of this so that, oh, I smeared it. And, you know, I thought I'd be able to handle it. Yeah, I thought I'd be okay. But anyway, oh, the lawnmower started. <sighs> Anyways, I put the jewel on and I thought I'd be able to handle the smear, but I couldn't. So I fixed it post, like, filming. So, yeah. Okay, well, thank you for watching that, guys. Even though it was incredibly boring because that was such a simple accent nail, there was no other nail to actually do. It literally just showed me painting things and stripes to look, make it look like a beach ball. If you say it looks like a beach ball, I will personally, nope, that's a really bad threat. I probably shouldn't say it. You'll probably think of me as even more creepy than I already am. So, sorry guys. Um, yeah, so you guys should like tune in for my tutorial because I have a tutorial coming. So anyways, so make sure to like, uh, wait, yeah, like, um, uh, to subscribe because people do this but I'm not putting a subscribe thing there um, and give like a thumbs up or something I don't care what you do if you give a thumbs down though I will find you nah, I'm kidding I'm